Hello everyone, my name is Joe Ham, and I'm here to give you a little insight into what it was like for the students to go through the creative composition process uh, for our new piece of music, See My Friends Again. It began in the fall with a way of processing opinions. The students were hearing all about the opinions of adults in the days preceding the presidential election, days and months preceding. They heard a lot of opinions going on around and it was hard to ignore, to say the least. So we decided that instead of just having a conversation about it, we would channel that energy and those ideas that the students were initiating into a piece of music that we could share with the world. So it began as a piece about opinions. The idea was to have a part A and a part B, an opinion A and then an opinion B. And these two opinions would debate one another or these musical ideas would go back and forth like a call and response. And then they would debate each other and come to some kind of consensus and there would be a resolution. So we started uh, guiding the students to generating ideas that could be an opinion A idea or an opinion B idea. As time went on and we continued to work on the piece, it became clear that we were noticing more going on in our world and in, in our society than just opinions. Uh, obviously the pandemic and the fact that it has upended our lives and some of the social justice issues that are more prevalent and in conversation more often and our own awareness of our individual perspectives and tying it in also with our the soundscapes theme this year of lens on life to acknowledge one another's perspective and to try to see the world through another person's eyes we then guided the students to start generating small musical ideas that could be assembled and turn into a section of music all these ideas were inspired by the greater theme that we were working on which was the past how life is now and how things are in the future so we broke out into different groups we had different teaching artists in different groups we were all working together to try to come up with these themes and then we would start to assemble them together we came up with another theme that was called the wild which is a piece of music right in the center that is very abstract and lots of sounds, very raw expression happening to reflect how the students were feeling. We ended up putting a poem with that as well as a way of, of uh, directly sharing what was going on and what we're noticing as students. Practically, the way that it worked is once a student had an idea, they would record it on their own using their own devices at home. And they would submit it to Google Classroom I would receive it here in the studio and I would assemble it together in the digital audio workstation, put it back together, show it to the students again and say, hey, what do you think of this? What do we like? What do we dislike? What are we interested in? Is this too long? Is this too short? Do we want to stretch something out? Do we want to make something more compact? There's a lot of decisions to make and students need to work through their opinions and their ideas about what they like and what they dislike in a civil way which is a great skill for citizens to have. This skill is learned through the process of uh, creative composition because we have to make decisions. We have to decide together and it needs to be an idea that all of us identify with as a collective since we are working together to create one piece of music. With more brainstorming, more idea development, more assembling, more building of phrases, little by little, this has come together. And I am really proud of the students for creating this. I think it's an accurate reflection of how they're feeling, what they're noticing about the world, what their opinions are, and how they would like to see things resolve. The, the collective music making process has been um, an outstanding vehicle, not only for gaining musical skills and accomplishing things like the C minor, or the C major and A minor scales, but also the process of building a piece of music, assembling things together, and, um, and, and putting something down on a, on a recording. We're very proud of this recording. Uh, I think it's uh, remarkable that the students were able to make their own recordings, submit them, uh, work on improving their musicianship while also expressing themselves to the world. Uh, this song serves as a megaphone for the student voice. Um, they have a lot of ideas 
um, that need to be listened to, that need to be understood. And I look forward to uh, finding more ways to elevate their voice and, and, and allow them to access what they're interested in sharing. Thank you for watching and take care.